Honest. I know what the flag looks like. <laughs> Skip the song, I agree. I'm gonna skip it. Merry Christmas, everybody. This is my gift to you. Oh, the weather outside. Oh, God. I'm not, I'm not doing Christmas music until it's actually Christmas. Fuck this. <laughs> I wear the Santa hat, though. Jeez. I'm fucking dead. What the fuck? Dude just level 2 ganked me? Shabazz probably like, why does this guy's autos do so much? <laughs> and here I am with fucking AD reds because I don't have any other runes. <laughs> oh god. He's probably like, why the fuck is this guy out trading me as Cassidy? Because my fucking spells don't do damage. Yeah. Where did this guy go? What the fuck?
Alright, what is it? Why, what is this song? Oh fuck, I'm getting ganked. I was, I was AFK! No! I was fucking not paying attention. It's all right. See that? See this this Nautilus? He's a he's a role model we all need to be like. Well, not gonna blame someone for my fu own fuck ups. <laughs> That's the role model we all need. <laughs> That's the hero that we need, but we don't deserve. So, so, dude, this song is really long. Holy shit! Oh my god! What a tragedy! If that E didn't hit me, I would have lived. <sighs> oh, 
Okay. Mistake. Mm -hmm. You guys noticed that yet? In all the other ELOs, they don't look at. Like, okay, this might apply to you guys too, but when you first walk to lane, look at all of the lanes and see if there's any ways of big farm. If there is, go farm it. If there isn't, then go walk to your lane. Don't blindly keep on walking to your lane. Think about which lane you go to. And I know, I know some of you fuckers don't do this. I know some of you fuckers don't do this. 
It's a habit you have to build by playing a lot. If you if you buy and then sh just walk straight to lane, and it's like past the laning phase where you don't have to really be in your own lane anymore, then you just gotta pay attention to all the lanes. It, it will actually improve your win rate by like 5% because that 5% is coming from you getting that farm. Like, I don't know what the numbers are, but you definitely improve your win rate if you just farm more efficiently. separates like gold plat and diamond players are usually not always because of ma mechanical skill but because of decision making and understanding like where you can die and all that for me it's for me it's more about being lazy or focusing hard enough And then after that, when it gets really close, then it then it goes to like mechanics and champion knowledge or champion mastery. I play a lot of different champions, so I kind of understand it a lot, but I don't exactly do it. And there's a lot of situations in my head where it's like, when things happen, it's like, I had an idea that could happen, but I just like, it wasn't set in stone yet. So here's another thing that I noticed in this elo. Instead of going bottom, you should go top or middle. Even though middle has wave clear, you can still apply pressure by sitting in the jungle here. Since they're doing that, I'm gonna go and back them up since they can literally die if they keep trying to do this shit.
what he just did. I'm gonna punish him for that. Fucking asshole. How dare you stop my back and then overstay. Some champs are just so good at punishing. I think Cassidy is one of them. Like a lot of the shit I'm punishing people for, it's not ca possible with a lot of other champs. I mean, it is with a lot of mobility champs, but Cass is like a special, special exception in my opinion. I'm not that great at Cass, but it's pretty straightforward. I think we're gonna win this fight though, when Yi comes in. Uh, maybe not. Nihilus is our only engage and he's low right now. Oh, okay, here's the Yi engage. <laughs> oh boy. So when you have that mentality of like hard carrying your teammates, you're going to want to take all the farm. But when you mess up with that farm, then you have to take responsibility for messing up too. Because that farm that you could have given to your teammates to kind of be strong, it, it goes on you. You take, you take their responsibilities. And so when you don't carry with it, and you just mess up, you don't really have the right to blame your teammates after that because you're taking their farm after. Now, of course, if you take their farm and then your teammates keep messing up, then that's not your fault. Like, you can't do anything about that. But if you take it and then you mess up, it's much different.
Shit, I almost had a repeat. Holy shit, that E. <laughs> right through the exhaust, that's so much damage. I mean, Shivana doesn't have any armor, but still, it looked cool. I'm gonna go split push, I think grouping's not the, what I should do. I don't do any damage to him. <laughs> there you go, that's fucking obnoxious.
I'm surprised how difficult this game is. Oh my fucking god, I'm gonna die here. Just kidding, Lux fucked up. That was a good ult by uh, Ori. That was all Ori right there. We're gonna get inhibitor for that one. Maybe Baron. Cass Ori AoE is disgusting. Cause if if he gets a good ult, I can just follow up. Oh, Ori saved me. Oh. Oh, God, Bissell saved me. Holy fuck. 